Couple things the Eagles got going. The compensatory picks are in. What would the Eagles do with them at your picks? Also, Sidney Jones, Rasul Douglas, are they on the trade block? And free agencies right around the corner. The Eagles got to get busy. What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? For those who don't know, I go by Philly Mike, and this is the Philly Talk Podcast. If you are new to the channel and love talking Philly sports every single day, hit that subscribe button. Now, if you guys are as excited as I am, but a little nervous about this free agency and draft, hit that like button. And oh, by the way, it helps this content and pushes out to other Philly fans. With all that being said, let's jump in to today's topic. Yesterday, I put up a community post talking about the three compensatory picks the Philadelphia Eagles got. Now, in that post, I also asked you guys to vote on a poll. Should the Eagles stay at 21 or should they package a deal and move up to get your guy you want in the draft? Now, if you stay at 21, you still can get someone good. And then with all them picks in the middle of the draft, the five picks that go from 85th to 146, you got five picks in between them, you could really fill your roster out with guys like a center named Matt Hennessy, who can be Jason Kelsey's replacement, a guy like Jeremy Chim, who can come in and play. He's raw, but very talented, has a lot of upside, or could sit behind a veteran like Malcolm Jenkins for one year and then really solidify that position. You got guys like Jordan Brooks, who's now dropping to the fourth round, who I think is raw, but talented at the linebacker position. These extra five picks, not five, but total of five picks between 85th and 146 could really fill this team for the future. And that would be if you stayed at 21. But you wouldn't have to give all these guys up or all these picks up if you did package a deal to move up and get your guy like a C.D. Lamb or a Henry Ruggs or a Jerry Judy or whoever you want. Not you want, the Philadelphia Eagles want. Don't be surprised if Howie Roseman doesn't package a deal up because he's known for moving up and he has the ammunition to do that. Or he could stay back and really fill this roster with young, talented guys because this roster needs an injection of youth. But this is all going to be coming up in the next video. In this video, I want to talk about the trade rumors the Eagles have when it comes to Rasul Douglas and Sidney Jones. Let's get into it. Sidney Jones. Games available. 12. Game started. 4. Interceptions. 2. Tackles. 23. Pass deflections. 8. Now, this guy struggled a lot during the season, but we saw signs of hope, signs of talent, signs of speed, signs of coverage, all at the end of the season. Rasul Douglas. Games available. 16. Game started. 6. Interceptions. 0. Tackles, 35, and pass deflections, 10. This is a guy I like when it comes to zone concept. He can play one area because he's big and strong, and he gets pass deflections. I don't like him in man coverage when he has to D a speedy receiver down the field. He just gets burnt all the time when it comes to that type of play. At the end of the day, if you were going to ask me, out of these two, we need to trade one. Who would you trade? I would definitely trade Rasul Douglas. Even though I think he could play safety and do a lot of things when it comes to zone, I think Sidney Jones has raw talent. I really want to see this guy with the new DB coach. I want to see him on his last year of his rookie deal when he's fully healthy, no nagging injuries, no one year after the Achilles, no think about the next step, controlling what you do next, fearing about the Achilles, feeling about the hamstring, fearing about a lot of things. Again, we saw bright spots from him at the end of the season. I mean, he saved the day, D and Michael Gallup one-on-one. I think there's talent there. He would have been a top 15 pick if he don't tear his Achilles. So when we got him in the second, we thought it was a steal. He missed the whole rookie season, came back in 2018, didn't look good. Came back in 2019, hamstring, hamstring. He just has not been able to stay on the field. Now that could be a problem in its own. It really could. The Philadelphia Eagles need to get healthy guys. But he will start this season healthy. He will have a new DB coach, and he is on the last year of his rookie deal. If you're asking me who I would keep out of these two, it's definitely Cindy Jones, and I need him to prove it this year, 2020, 
or he's going to be off the team because we're not going to sign him to a long-term deal if we haven't seen nothing in the years of his rookie contract. This is do or die for Sidney Jones, and I think he's going to be able to rise to the occasion. My goodness, this is exactly why Sidney Jones was a top 15 pick before he tore his Achilles. Now, will he ever get back here? Maybe yes, maybe no. But like I said before this highlight reel, he has one more year of his rookie deal. I want to hold on to him and see what he can do healthy and with this new coach. Now, like I said, free agency is around the corner. We're going to have to look at linebackers, cornerbacks, Fry receivers, a lot of positions. Now, we can't get them all. We know that. But we've been talked about to Byron Jones, Chris Harris Jr., Logan Ryan, Robbie Anderson, Brashad Perriman, DeMarcan Robinson, Joe Schober, Corey Littleton. These are all names that's been thrown around to the Philadelphia Eagles. I can see us getting two of these guys at the max. So which two? I don't know. But that can also be the way the Eagles go in the draft. If they do get a corner and a linebacker, you know they're going to get wide receiver help in this draft over the other ones and vice versa. I really do think what happens in the free agency is going to be the domino effect. I think no matter what though, the Philadelphia Eagles will get a wide receiver, a good wide receiver in the first or second round of this draft. They're going to get a guy that they can grow with Carson Wentz throughout his years in Philadelphia. With all that being said, I go by Philly Mike and this is the Philly Talk Podcast. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and let me know what you thought about this video. Who would you trade, Sidney Jones or Rasul Douglas? Or would you just try to keep them both? Like I said, we're going to be spenders this free agency, but I think we are going to try to finagle some deers as well. 
Until next time, you know what time it is. We out.